Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna cover as usual the Bitcoin price, Ethereum, the DXY and at the end also Nasdaq. So welcome my friends and let's dive straight here into the content and what you can see here is the one hour time frame. And as you can see, after we broke out from this resistance here of around $58,000, we had here a nice follow through and we created this ascending uh, channel here that apparently right now is in a danger that here we could be breaking out to the downside. And if we are losing this new support that in theory we should have here now at $57,000, there is a very high risk that we could even fall all the way down where we started this rising channel here which is approximately at around fifty thousand dollar so if we would fall off the cliffs here and lose all the supports that we created on the way to the upside here there is still this risk that we could even fall towards 50k maybe even test here once more the support that we have now in theory at around forty nine thousand dollar but as long as we are maintaining this support here of $57,000, in my opinion, we are still trending to the upside. And what we have seen so far, this sell off here after reaching again 60K is just temporary and we should expect here continuation to the upside. So currently we are in a very critical point, at least here in the one hour time frame. We are below this EMA ribbon and usually this always indicates that we should be prepared to see some more downwards movements here, at least in the lower time frames. But since in the four hour we're still looking bullish, I think here in the one hour time frame we most likely gonna recover very, very soon. Latest once we're getting here a buy signal, we are very oversold now and all the money flow is still positive here. So I still think that here we could see some more follow through towards our all time high here of around $62,000. And if we are able to take out this all time high that we had so far, I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see big fireworks to the upside towards our bullish targets between 75 to 100K. And if we switch now over into the four hour time frame, you can see that even with this dip that we have seen, we didn't come even close to the bottom here of the EMA ribbon in the four hour time frame. So the bottom is currently here at around $56,400. Of course, we are still far away from the 200 moving average, which is still here at $54,000. So we could even drop down towards this level and have a big bounce to the upside in the four hour. But since now the EMA ribbon is pressing the price up, I think that in, in the four hour time frame, we are still in this uptrend. And even though here we got some sell signals since we were quite overbought, I think that most likely here at around $57,000, we should have enough support and see the Bitcoin price going higher again towards our all time high of $62,000. We are also here, of course, in a critical point because right now we are right between the 9 and 20 moving average in the four hour. So the 9 moving average is here at $58,400. And usually in order to see explosive moves to the upside, we first need to be above all the moving averages, especially here the nine moving average. And of course, maintain the 20 moving average right here at $57,300 as a support. And at the same time, we also want to close four hour candles above the Bollinger Bands. So currently we retrace back to the middle line and we should expect here a big bounce to the upside. Latest once the stochastic is also oversold here and has another bullish cross because in that case we most likely are going up again to test the top of the Bollinger Bands right at $60,000 and then hopefully also start to close four hour candles above these Bollinger Bands in the four hour in order to have explosive moves to the upside. So even though in the lower time frames like the one hour, there could be still some chances that we could fall off the cliffs here if we're gonna lose here this $57,000 support. I'm still more leaning to the bullish side here for the next coming days, especially for the beginning of April. And the four hour is still looking fine and we should expect here very soon a bounce to the upside and continuation also towards our targets currently at around $62,000. But once this resistance here, this old all time high is broken, I think we're definitely gonna see explosive moves to the upside. 
and of course all the money flow is still positive and we are cooling off the RSI right now so in the RSI we are still above the 50 level which is of course is very bullish because we should expect here a bounce latest at the 50 level in the RSI if we continue to go lower here if in the next couple of hours we are seeing some sideways movements or maybe even some continuation to the downside but the important is that we're gonna maintain here the RSI above the 50 level because if this is lost then maybe yes we're gonna see here a uh, fall below $57,000. So all eyes right now here in the lower time frames are here at $57,000. This needs to hold a four hour close below this price level. Could be dangerous because in that case I would target here at least the 200 moving average in the four hour right at $54,000 where although we have still this CME gap opened and of course if this will not hold then be prepared to see the price coming back down again towards the 50 region and latest there I'm expecting another breeder to the upside but uh, as long as we are now above $57,000 everything is still okay and if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that even with this big dip that we had here in the last couple of hours we only came down right at the 20 daily moving average and had exactly here a bounce to the upside so we're still looking very good my friends here in the daily time frame we are also not overbought yet so if today we can close above $56,600 so let's say above $57,000 we should be safe and see continuation to the upside and the nine daily moving average is still green so this is what we want to see during an uptrend and of course also to expect big continuations to the upside here for the next coming days and weeks and it's still green and it's right here at fifty-five thousand four hundred dollar and if we have a look now into the indicator you can see that although we were a bit overbought here now we're cooling off but everything is still looking very healthy here in the daily time frame and even we could see prices again going down towards a $54,000 maybe even 50k we're still looking very healthy and bullish here in the daily time frame and the same thing goes also for the weekly of course and since we are now closing a monthly candle today i also want to see the monthly time frame and as you can see we have now another green month everyone was expecting march to be a red month since usually march is always a bearish month but as you can see now we have another big green candle here and the monthly is still looking very good my friends and i still think that this is not the top and we should expect here big fireworks to the upside incoming in the next coming days weeks and months so currently we have one two three four five and six green monthly candles in a row i think we never have seen something like this in the history of uh, bitcoin so we are writing history my friends if this month we can close above uh, 50k uh, we should expect here continuation to the upside that is for sure and also we have to update the next month this important moving average here the nine monthly moving average which currently is here at around twenty six thousand dollar more or less where the 200 daily moving average is lining up because sometimes during bull markets bitcoin always comes down to this important monthly moving average here whenever we are losing the 20 weekly moving average which usually is a very important support area in case of a sell-off during a bull market so also this moving average we have to update tomorrow because it also will be way higher probably at around thirty thousand dollar and that of course is also very bullish for the long term so even though during this bull cycle we could at some point see a big sell-off or a small bear market for the long term i'm talking about the next coming months and years bitcoin will go to way higher levels and that's why if you are investing for the long term it doesn't matter if you're buying right now at 60k or at 100k because bitcoin anyway will go to way higher levels my friends and this short term volatility that we sometimes see that sometimes even takes weeks and months it's only relevant if you're trading with leverage over on bybit or femex to like this multiply your crypto portfolio but at the end the goal is always to accumulate more bitcoin because bitcoin is here to stay and it's the future and that's why make sure that you have accumulated enough bitcoin during this cycle because in a couple of months and years we will go to way higher levels 
and since we are now here in the bigger time frames in the monthly you can see that always when bitcoin was in a bull market we were always trending here above the ema ribbons and always above the nine monthly moving average this gray trend line that you can see here and as soon as we were starting to close monthly candles below the nine monthly moving average then we started the bear market and this moving average then turned into resistance until then of course we broke again to the upside and then started again our bull market so as long as we are closing monthly candles above the nine monthly moving average which is still here at around thirty thousand dollar we are still good to go to the upside although for the long term and that we enter right now in a bear market in my opinion is still very unlikely so since april and also may usually are bullish months i think there is a very high chance that during these two months we're gonna see here big pumps and big continuations to the upside towards our targets between 75 to 100k and then maybe start a correction and once a correction is starting my friends then we always have to keep a very close eye into the 20 weekly moving average and also at the nine monthly moving average because those usually are really the worst case scenario where bitcoin could be dropping to and where also we can accumulate again more bitcoin at a cheaper price if we are taking profits out up in this region here because sooner or later we will see somehow a bigger sell-off and then of course that's the time when we can accumulate again more bitcoin and then those moving averages are very important to see where the targets are in case that somewhere we're gonna see such a bigger sell-off that in my opinion at any point can come because after six months of green candles in a row there must be at some point a correction nothing can go just forever like this to the upside the question is only when should we start to take a bit of profits just to be ready once a bigger sell-off is coming that we can buy that dip so bitcoin is still looking very bullish my friends and as i told you this short to mid-term volatility is only important to accumulate more bitcoin and also if you're trading over on bybit and femex with leverage because like this of course you can take advantage when we go up but also when we come down to make some gains and multiply your crypto portfolio but otherwise if you're just buying and hodling then just buy always the dip and keep it for the long term because bitcoin is headed towards completely new levels in the next coming months and years and we can now have a look also into ethereum because ethereum is now also having this pullback like in bitcoin and also here in the four hour time frame you can see that we came right back down towards the 20 moving average in the four hour and also here we are still above the ema ribbons and also above this important resistance support level here at around 1760 so as long as we're closing four hour candles above 1760 we are still good to go to the upside and only this resistance here is left here at around 1880 in order then to see potentially new all-time highs way above 2k so the target from this inverse head and shoulders here that we had is already met here so this pattern already played out and of course if this pullback will take us again down below this important support here then i think ethereum could be heading even lower towards 1670 or maybe even have a complete retracement back down towards 1600 dollar but if we can maintain here this support here i'm also here very bullish for ethereum that we're gonna see some continuations to the upside very very soon potentially in the next coming days but for today we most likely gonna start to trade sideways here and then important will be where we're gonna start to close for our candles below or above our important resistance and support levels and if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that also here with this dip that we had so far we also here came right at the 20 daily moving average same like in bitcoin right here at 1770 and that's why it is very important that today we are not going below or close the daily candle below 1760 dollars because of course that could mean that we're gonna see continuation to the downside potentially to retest this 1700 dollar down here so ethereum is same like bitcoin still looking bullish here in the four hour and also daily time frame 
and if we go over into the weekly you can see that also here currently we are maintaining the nine weekly moving average as a support right where we have here this one thousand seven hundred dollar important support area and the 20 weekly moving average is right here at one thousand three hundred dollar so in the weekly time frame ethereum is also still looking very bullish and usually we are always bouncing right here at the nine weekly moving average very similar like bitcoin we had a couple of times some weeks to the downside but at the end we always recovered back above this important moving average and that's why since we are right at this important support here we should expect also for ethereum big continuations to the upside but everything is gonna be depending from Bitcoin and also keep in mind that in the CMEs on Bitcoin it's still looking like that we are forming this ascending triangle and if here we're gonna have a big breakout to the upside this could easily take us above $70,000 and once this is happening in my opinion also on Ethereum here we're gonna see new all-time highs way above 2k because usually when Ethereum is starting to pump it can go very very quickly and very fast to the upside and here we can even form a symmetrical triangle with this price action that we had here in the daily time frame so i think as soon as we here we're gonna see a breakout above this resistance here of 1880 we could see really some big fireworks to the upside my friends way above the old all-time high here of two thousand dollar and this could easily take us towards here this two thousand six hundred dollar target so the 1.618 fibonacci extension level based from this price action that we had here from 1300 and 2000 dollar so that's why my friends if bitcoin is able to break out to the upside and go towards new all-time highs we should expect the same thing here also for ethereum and we're gonna have here ethereum way above two thousand dollars so that of course is very bullish for all ethereum hodlers and now let's go over to the dxy because the dxy right now has a little bit of problems here to push higher as you can see right now we are seeing today a little uh, pullback but of course we are back in an uptrend here in the daily time frame so even if we would come back down towards the 200 daily moving average here at around 92 dollars 50 here latest i'm expecting a bounce to the upside also the nine moving average right now is recovering back above the 200 daily moving average and that of course uh, can be a big danger for the crypto and stock market because if the dxy has now a reversal if we are going back here into a bull market and bring all the moving averages above the 200 again then i'm pretty confident that here we're gonna see continuation to the upside in the next coming weeks maybe even months and that could be in danger for the stock and crypto market it doesn't mean we have to crash but of course that could signal that we are right now at a potential cycle top in the crypto and stock market until then of course the dxy is reversing again and head again towards lower levels so this bottom that we have seen so far could be in play and we could see here a reversal in the dxy and that of course could be dangerous for the crypto and stock market here for the short to mid term because the daily time frame is looking again way more healthy than before all the money flow is again positive we're gonna see here some pullbacks on the way to the upside but if here we are able to recover and go back in a bull market that could be dangerous here for the next coming weeks and months for the crypto and stock market and talking about stock market let's go to nasdaq because nasdaq is still trapped here between the 9 and 20 daily moving average so far we didn't see a breakout so also here we still have to wait until we're gonna break here this important resistance at thirteen thousand dollar or if we're gonna lose here this support that we have currently at twelve thousand six hundred dollar that then we're gonna see here some big moves in nasdaq hopefully to the upside but since the dxy is now pushing higher and higher there is still a very high chance that here we could fall off the cliffs and in that case we most likely are coming down to test the 200 daily moving average at twelve thousand dollar but let's see what will happen here with the dxy we're gonna see a pullback sooner or later and i think then we're gonna see some big fireworks in the stock and also in the crypto market because we are in a very critical point everywhere and if we are creating new all-time highs not only in bitcoin but also in other coins and other assets things can start to really accelerate a lot to the upside and then 
of course this is the time where you can take the most profits and do the most gains because usually always towards at the end of a rally we are going completely parabolic in all asset classes and that's why I'm still telling you my friends that this is not the top yet and in my opinion we still are going to see some big pumps here towards our bullish targets between 75 to 100k. So with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Thank you again very much for your support and for watching. If you need any kind of account to trade Bitcoin or other coins then make sure to use my recommended exchanges down below here especially Bybit and Femex. Those are the ones that I'm also using and if you don't want to trade yourself with with leverage then try out prime xpt because here you have this special co-vesting feature where you can easily copy trade other successful traders without doing anything and with these promo codes that you find down below here you will get some extra deposit bonus and also discount on the fees if you're also trading with leverage over on a prime xpt so sign up with my link and also use my promo codes to get this uh, special bonus here and for everyone that is new in the crypto space and you're looking for good exchanges where to buy cryptos make sure that you use Swissborg, Binance and also Coinbase you can use the links down below here to sign up completely for free because with my links you will get also some extra money with your first purchase so make sure that you use my links if you sign up to those exchanges it will give you some extra bonus as well and a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our great community here in discord then make sure to use only here the official link that you find in the description once you have clicked on this link you just have to go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you are a human and not a bot like this you have free access to our trading chat and if you want to have also access to my live stream indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin here on Discord then you have to send me a private message here because a small donation is needed in order to get access to it or you can just use the subscriptions here directly on YouTube like this you also have free access to the live stream indicator here on Discord. So if you like the content my friends make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!